Hi everyone, it's Anne. Today we're going to take a look at a fairly new Oracle deck. It's been out for about three months since June 6, 2023, according to Amazon. Uh, today is Saturday, uh, September 16th, uh, 2023 that I'm recording it. So it's still fairly new. Uh, it's called Creative Consciousness Healing, a 44-card oracle deck and guidebook for self-healing and self-care by Joanna Wright. It's in a larger uh, size rectangular hard case two-part box. There is a thumb hole cutout. Uh, here's the other side. Here's the back. Is published by Andrews McNeil Publishing. And on the back, there's a few pictures of the cards. Self-care has never been more beautiful. You are invited to wander down a unique path of intuitive healing and personal connection with this magical, magically transformative oracle deck and guidebook illustrated in stunning art and celebrated author, illustrator, and healer guide, Joanna Wright. Complete with an illustrated deck of 44 cards, each containing a healing statement, a message explanation, a creative visualization, and a journey prompt. Creative Consciousness Healing offers solace and direction in a time when we all could use some guidance to overcome anxiety and self-criticism and heal the past by creating a stronger relationship with our intuitive guidance system and creative power all right so hard case so let's open it up and take a look just plain black and our lining has a larger size guidebook we'll take a look more at the guidebook in depth after we look at the cards on the thinner side cards are underneath and this is cardboard but it's solid so it won't move around it'll keep your cards in place And here are the backs. Not reversible since the snake's head is up top. Cars are not gilded, it is matte. So papery side, although there is a sheen on it. It's a little on the thinner side, not too, too bad. Comparing it to a traditional plaid tarot card, it is a lot larger. So these are larger Oracle card size, a lot taller, a lot wider. Comparing it to an Art Angel Hay House Angel card, it's also larger by that much and that much. So as you can see, it's a larger size card. It covers my whole hand. And let's flip it over and take a look at the cards. Now, I don't think the illustration is going to be for everyone. Uh, this particular deck, I didn't buy it so much uh, so for the illustration, um, but I like the healing uh, phrases as a uh, Reiki person. I like um, how it tells you, you know, like for this one, comp com composting decomposing energetic cores. So it tells you um, what you need to work on. So I thought it would complement um, my tarot readings, especially at the end, final draw, what a person needs to work on or, you know, what healing, because everything stems from healing, right? Relationship, connection, we have to work on healing ourselves. So as a Reiki person and a healer, um, having a healer background, that's what I want. The main reason I uh, purchased this deck for that grabbed my attention. So it is numbered. You get a keyword and then you get a key phrase as the back of the box I mentioned that I just read. So this one, again, decomposing energetic cords. So this tells me a person may have, if you're doing relationship readings, you know, there's energetic cords, and you may need to cut cords. Um, so that's interesting. Next is moon shroom healing old brain patterns. So this may be overthinking or 
just a pattern that you repeat over and over again that you need a break. So if you get stuck, these cards may help you at least try to get to the root core of, you know, the issue, emotional issue, or your client or your whomever you're reading for, if it's not yourself. Grounding, rooting in the power of your purpose. So this is, you know, when you get this, tells you you need a ground. Maybe you're too out of your body or airy fairy. Too much soft breeze, allowing allowing flow and ease. So this maybe you're stuck. You need to go with the flow, or maybe too rigid, too stubborn. Now they're pretty good. Breathe, healing with your breath. So this is about taking time to breathe. Maybe not breathing deep enough. Too much shallow, shallow breathing. So slowing down to breathe. Nourish. Feeding the sheet, oh, it's the sheet, the sweet animal of your body. So this is working on your physical body, nourishing your physical body. Purple diamond, manifesting your dreams, creating your dreams, believing in your dreams, maybe believing in yourself, nurture, giving yourself love, care, and encouragement. Oh, look at that water experiencing the healing power of water so water healing or maybe water if you draw this there's emotions involved or ne emotions need healing rainbow boundary protect protecting your true self so setting up boundaries are really good belonging healing and community all right, I just heard the word outcast. So maybe, you know, someone feeling left out, feeling like an outcast or, you know, got kicked out from the family, whatever. So these are really good clarifier cards. Moon belly, healing your gut. Well, could be physical stomach ailments or just trusting your gut, trusting your gut feeling or maybe there's solar plexus issues. So lots, lots to uh, get depending on the situation and the energy of the reading. Wild energy, focusing your creative power. All right, so this is learning how to focus and direct. Direct your power for manifestation purposes, possibly. Ice boundary, emergency energetic boundary. Wow, maybe there's a psychic vampire around. You need a shield and protect. Put up a bubble of light. Look at this. Bountiful, healing a scarcity mindset. Okay, so this is healing lack thoughts. If you're working on abundance and uh, manifesting abundance, wealth, money, or having money issues, maybe you need to work on scarcity or lack thoughts body connection reclaiming the power of your body all right light cleanse clearing stuck energy pink honeymoon soothing hurt is it hurt or heart soothing hurt and inflammation all right hot and cold Resetting your nervous system. Self-trust. Building safety with yourself. So learning you to trust yourself. Trust your gut feeling. Trusting your intuition. Pink lion protecting little you. Oh. Allow accepting all parts of you. Violet flame burning away what's no longer needed. All right. Self-soothing, creating safety and calm. Moon path taking the next right step. Boundary cloak. Gentle loving protection. So cloaking yourself. Moon pebbles, challenging yourself with compassion, giving yourself a break, not being too hard on yourself. 
clarity, seeing and feeling the truth. So seeing clearly, moon money, allowing the flow of abundance. Some of these seems a little bit overlapping, a little bit repetitive. A slightly different schedule, creating a relationship with time, learning how to manage time better, time management issues, pink fruit, realizing your dreams. So again, manifesting. Focus, being deliberate with your attention. Yeah, some of these are a little repetitive past self connecting with what was maybe healing the past forgiveness forgiving yourself at a cellular level deep sleep resting and sleeping deeply higher self connecting with your inner guidance true voice Communicating with your truth. Receiving, opening self to worthiness. Feeling worthy. Future self, connecting with what's to come. Simplify, clearing away what you don't need. Decluttering, which I'm in the process of doing myself. Geo transformation, addictive thinking. Oh, transforming addictive thinking. So, addictive obsessive thinking. Pink bees integrating your healing. Pink seeds growth under the surface. Mushroom touch decomposing shame, working on feeling shameful. All right, here's another look at the backs. So let's take a look at the guidebook really quick. There's an introduction. Each card in this deck is dedicated to connecting you to your path of healing through creativity and intuition. You will explore your relationship with your higher guidance and the parts of yourself that need love, attention, gentleness, and care as someone who can easily get tangled up in my own brain force i found that learning creative intuitive tools to find my way back to myself is an important part of my mental emotional and physical health ah oh, very nice how to get the most out of this deck set the scene connect with yourself connect with the deck ask your questions Oh, so they get, she gives you sample questions. What would be in my highest good to know right now? How can I let go of this? Why am I feeling so stuck? Is there anything I'm not seeing that needs attention? What does my anger need right now? What does my grief need right now? Very good questions there. Shuffle, select a card, reverse cards in their meetings, consult the guidebook, and then it goes into the cards you get a black and white picture of the card key concepts creative vi visualization so she gives you a visualization and an exercise to do and then journey prompt so you can journal oh wow you guys this is really nice I'm glad I bought this this is really good for if you want to do deep cord healing issue and you want to get to the root core or cause and you're not sure what the issue is whether for yourself or a client um, this will help you know meditating and then pulling a card asking your guys or your angels and then it tells you like for this one it's about the nervous system reset and then it tells you give you an exercise create a visualization creative visualization close your eyes imagine that you are by the most beautiful body and water you have ever seen and then you can do your own visualization to heal yourself and then afterwards uh, write about it journaling the try journaling with, with a body of water ask it to show you what your body 
minor spirit needs right now allow the messages to flow through you easily and unimpeded very good excellent for those of you who are healers or looking to heal yourself or trying to get to the root core uh, and cause of you know what you feel is keeping you stuck or trapped very nice uh, how many pages are there oh this is nice oh so this is like the back of the cards total of 101 number pages all right so if you guys are interested in the deck as usual i will put the uh links in the description under the uh video so i hope you guys uh enjoy that thanks for watching and i will catch you all again on the next video bye